Hey there folks, I got something a little different for you guys today. I am gonna over do an overview basically on these new boots that I just got. Uh, something new on the channel. I have been doing a few leather goods, but this is something new. I just bought these boots. Uh, these are from Thursday Boots. These are the Shell Cordovan Vanguard series. These are, um, again, these are Shell Cordovan leather boots. Uh, if you guys know anything about Shell Cordovan, it's something that's very highly sought after, very difficult to get, a very difficult leather to make. And it's, I, I want to say, I mean, it's almost very rare. Now, of course, the reason I got turned on to Shell Cordovan, of course, is with my uh, Das Afamir leather wallet. Now, I've been carrying this for a few months now. I got this from, uh, again, Das Afamir leather. This is his uh, gun deck wallet. Now, this has been my go-to EDC wallet every day. It's remove any other wallet out of my pocket and I just love it. I've grown to really appreciate this Shell Cordovan leather. I mean, it's just amazing. Now, you know I pocket this and you might see some scratches on it, but the scratches will come out if I get this deer bone that uh, I had. I didn't. I wasn't gonna get only cause it's a wall, but now that I got the boots, I will get them. But what makes the, uh, the Shell Cordovan uh, unique Leather wise is it does not crease. You can see that I've been pocketing this like normal leather. You you won't see any creases, no stretch marks. It kind of like just bends, right? Now this is my first experience with shell. So, uh, you know, a couple of people guys at work are telling me they have like shell cordovan shoes. So I've been in a hunt for shell cordovan boots. Now, if you guys Google it, and you can pause this video on Google, see if you can find Shell Cordovan boots other than these, they're super expensive. They start at like 900 and up, 900 and up. Did I say 900 and up? Yes, 900 and up. <laughs> and again, it's because of the unique properties of the Shell Cordovan. Now, let me just do an overview on the Shell Cordovan for the people that haven't seen my uh, gun deck review on the wallet. Shell Cordovan is made from a horse's rump, which makes it more rare because they take it basically on each side of the horse, right? The shell is removed from the, the horse's buttocks. And as you can imagine, it's a very limited uh, material, right? Uh, it's growing in popularity. They do do wilds in it. They have made belts with it, and now they're making shoes with it. Right, so it does come from the rump of the horse. It takes about six months to prepare the cordovan leather. Now there are people that do it, like in Italy, um, Horween does it here stateside. So again, there's not too many people that do the shell cordovan, and again, adds to the rarity of it, and of course the cost of the price. I'm gonna cut to the chase. These were not 900 and up. This is a short run by Thursday Boots. They did 100 in this whiskey shell cordovan color, and then they had another one, like a, I think it's a, a burgundy, uh, and that's also shell cordovan. And they only did 100, so this, this is one of 100, and then the burgundy one, they did also 100. So it's a limited run. They started to sell it this January, this past January. They've since sold out, or so I thought. These were... Um, on sale through uh, Thursday boot and the only reason it was uh, sold so cheap which is under under 500 bucks I know for you guys you might like oh my god Mike $500 for boots yes but it's shell Cordovan and you I'll explain why if I haven't already in a little bit how expensive it is so they did a short run Thursday boot is a fairly new knife uh, knife <laughs> Thursday boot is a fairly new um, shoe company and you know they were doing uh, the Kickstarter, and they their boots are still pretty cheap. Now this is their most uh, expensive undertaking. They do have boots now. Their boots are about two hundred dollars and up. Two hundred dollars and up. Now they do have Horween leather, regular leather, other leather. I think they have Bison leather, and again this is the shell. Now this was just a, a short run. They say that they're not going to sell any more. They're not going to make any more in this style. I'm not saying they're not going to make any more shell. Cordovan boots, 
I'm sure they will. It just won't be in this particular style of boot. They do have different styles. Uh, let's do some research here. So, again, it takes about six months to prepare, you know, the shell leather, the shell cordovan leather. It takes six months. Uh, it's not exactly uh, very cheap, right? It's, um, it's a nice combination of durability and beauty. Right, it's a, and I'll, I'll focus more once I go through the specs. I'll, I'll give you some my typical macros on the beauty of the leather there. Uh, again, as you can see with my gun deck, right, it's a very, very smooth leather. Right, again, it doesn't crease, so these boots won't crease like other boots like you may have. These are built for comfort and style. The more you wear it, I'm told, and I, I can see that as evidenced by my wallet, it's going to get more softer and more comfortable, right? It's also water resistant because the fibers on the horse's butt, on the rump, are so tight that it becomes waterproof. I shouldn't say waterproof. I guess it's water resistant. After the treatment they do to create the shell cordovan, it becomes a little bit water resistant, not waterproof. So that's nice. Let's see what else. I'm just looking through my notes here. Again, these are the Vanguard boots. Whiskey and Burgundy, right? I think that's it. So, specs on it. It's made with a Veltschon construction. Veltschon is basically a, a Goodyear welt. Basically, the welts are prepared so that they'll be waterproof. The welts are waterproof before they put the, the uppers onto the welts, right? It's got a cork midsole, it's got a leather footbed, and I'll show you all that. Uh, it comes with two laces. It comes with this leather lace, these leather laces, and then there's another set of like uh, um, some kind of material cloth lace. And again, we'll look at the rubber soles. All right, let's take a look at them, enough of the specs. So you can see, hope you can see, you can see it's comparable. Now, my gun deck was this color before I started using it, and I'm sure these will patina a little bit, get a little darker once I start wearing them. Right? I don't have the weight, but it is a boot, so it is fairly heavy. You can see over here, and again, this will come off. There's a little scratch there. And that's uh, typical of like shell, but with the deer bone, the, 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 the scratch would come right out. Just a good looking boot. Right, and you can see the stitching over there. Really nice. And the leather footbed. It is thin, it's not padded. Again, it is designed for style and comfort. The leather is thin. Now, I didn't put them on yet. I will put them on, but I wanted to show you guys before I destroy them. So I'll, I will do an update. I am very excited, and I hope I stay remain excited about the boot. But I want to show you it pristine before I start wearing it, and I will start wearing it winter. Winter is coming <laughs> for you Game of Thrones fans there. Um, yeah, the... Yeah, the shell Cordovan is just really, really gorgeous. I mean, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful work. I love the design of the boot. These are the soles. I mean, the, the, the bottoms. And you can see their rubber, which I like. Now, I saw somebody else review this. I thought maybe they added this tap. Nope, this is just part of the heel. You can see there the cork bed. So what's good about this boot is what they marketed it as. This will last you for years, decades in fact. So once broken in, you can always change the bottoms of it, replace them. You can even put leather, I guess, or rubber or whatever you want to do. So there is going to be a nice breaking in period on the boot. Again, it's designed to last a long, long time. I don't know if you guys are boot nuts over there. I'm a sneaker fan myself. I do have a couple of dress shoes and some nice boots. Mostly uh, dress boots. Nothing for casual wear. 
You can see how beautiful the sheen is on the Cordovan. Now this was designed in New York, I believe. Thursday boot is out of here in New York. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a nice look at it before I beat it up and start wearing it, especially during the winter. So I'll probably do an update video sometime, hopefully, hopefully around winter time, maybe like around January, February. I'm sure it's going to look a lot different. Again, to tr there is a little bit of different. You can, of course, here in New York, New York, New York City, there's tons of uh, shoe guys that will give it a nice polish. I gotta find somebody that knows how to treat um, Shell Cordovan because you can't just slap on any kind of shoe polish on it. It doesn't need a shoe polish, you just need some kind of a cleaner. I'll probably get that myself. And again, key to removing the scratches is getting some deer bone and the deer bone has the natural oils. That will uh, basically treat the Shell Cordovan. I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, but I am freaking out. I can't believe so. So I didn't tell you guys what happened. So I've been looking everywhere, right? I was really fascinated by the Thursday Boot Company because they did have it at such a, yes, it is still expensive, but a very good price for Shell Cordovan. And they didn't have it. I went to their website, sold out, right? Now they do have an Instagram. Um, so on their Instagram, I just messaged them, hey, any chance you guys are gonna do a run of the Shell Cordovan boots again? And they got pretty responsive. I don't know who their social media person is. And they said, yeah, you know what? Let, let, let us check our stock. Shoot us an email. Let us check our stock and we'll see what we got. And sure enough, they had it. They had one more in the whiskey and then they had one more in the burgundy. All right, folks, I think that's it. I hope my battery didn't die yet. It looks like it's dying. Just an overview on the Thursday boot, Shell Cordovan, Whiskey Shell Vanguard. All right, guys, peace.